So far, we have created a service that implements a method and a client that calls this method. The SumIP specification also describes an event handling. That means that application can send events to which subscriber can subscribe if they are interested. Now, with the help of Qt application, I have created one dashboard and you can see in this dashboard, we are visualizing speed, engine RPM and vehicle engine temperature and fuel status. Assume we have an ECU which will collect all of this information like speed, RPM, fuel, temperature and indicator information and sends to vehicle network. Since we don't have that now, I am creating a sample application like this which can simulate all vehicle data. So basically, I have created two Qt application. One is our dashboard which will be our client application which will be receiving all the notifications or events and one application for sending these events. So as soon as this value change, it will send one event to this dashboard using some IP. So here we have RPM, speed, temperature, fuel and two switches for left indicator and right indicator. How we can implement that? In order to do that, you need Qt installed on your Linux PC and you have to clone this vsumip sample application folder also. In this folder, you will be able to see one folder called dashboard. In this dashboard folder, you will be having two example implementation. One is for dashboard and another one is for vehicle simulator. Now I am opening this project in Qt application or Qt creator. Now we have two projects. One is for vehicle simulator and another one is for dashboard. And this code is not perfect. I thought of implementing some sample, sample code just for demonstrating the some IP events. Now I'm going to run this vehicle simulator. In the application console, you can see it is using one configuration file what we have mentioned here it's a json file i will explain it later it's using this v.json file as configuration file and here it is using network interface eth0 and this vehicle simulator will be offering some services it's like a simulator so using this you can simulate various rpm speed temperature and fuel values here you can see if I'm changing this value, it will send these values to some IP client. Parallelly, I am opening one Wireshark terminal also. Here you can see some some IP ST messages are coming. It's some IP ST messages. So now the server is running. So it is offering some services. You can see these offer messages are coming. So our simulated ECU is offering some services. Now we can run the client application. Now I'm going to run this client application. Now you can see, let's go to the, yeah, here you can see it is using some other JSON file as configuration file. And here also it is using ETH0 as interface. Service is available. 1234 is our sample service, so it is available. So now I'm going to change the RPM. You can see now RPM is reduced. First, I'm filling my fuel. So you can see the fuel gauge arrow is moving. Now, if I'm changing the temperature, you can see here in the dashboard it is saying client notification for event one two three four five six seven eight and uh, with the client session id which session id which value is coming it is printing here you can see if i'm changing the temperature it will show our temperature change and if i'm pressing this left indicator button you can see it is uh, blinking left if i am pressing right indicator button you can see the right indicator is blinking both of these applications are using some IP for communication. It is an event-based communication. 
so whenever this value changes it will trigger an event and this dashboard client will receive that event and it will replace the data